Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of apple farming, where modern technology seamlessly blends with traditional cultivation methods that have endured for centuries. Today, we will take you through the process of growing millions of apple trees and producing crispy, freeze-dried apple snacks. Let's dive in and explore together. To produce millions of apple trees, the process must first begin by planting a large number of saplings. These saplings are carefully selected from popular apple varieties that grow rapidly and play a crucial role as the foundation for the formation of future apple orchards. They are chosen not only for their growth potential, but also for their resistance to pests and adaptability to various climatic conditions. After planting, the saplings will grow for several months until they reach the required maturity and are ready to enter the next stage of the process, grafting. Once the saplings reach maturity, all of their leaves will be removed and the trees will be transported to the factory to begin the grafting process. At factory, the roots of the saplings are carefully washed, ensuring that no dirt or harmful bacteria remain to prepare them for the next step in the grafting procedure. Meanwhile, branches from high-quality apple varieties are collected from nurseries. These branches, after being carefully selected and meeting strict standards, are grafted onto the seedling stems. The grafting process is not only a method of producing new trees, but also an effective way to preserve these high-quality branches for long periods when they need to be exported or transported to transported to different locations. To ensure that the grafted parts remain intact during transport, the branches are carefully wrapped in wax. Once the grafting process is complete, the seedlings are moved into storage where they wait until the appropriate, appropriate time to be planted in apple orchards. These grafted seedlings are then taken to large orchards where they continue to grow vigorously, eventually maturing into fully developed apple trees ready for production. Today, planting apple orchards is more efficient than ever thanks to significant advancements in technology and agricultural machinery.
The tree planting process has now been highly mechanized with advanced equipment that helps till the soil, aerate it, and prepare it thoroughly. Once the soil has been meticulously prepared, farmers start placing the grafted branches in the designated spots in the orchard. Following that, automated machines take over the rest of the planting process, from compacting the soil, watering to ensuring each tree is planted in the correct position and to standard. This mechanized approach accelerates the orchard setup process, allowing farmers to plant more trees and expand the cultivated area quickly. The second grafting method is direct grafting in the orchard, and it is usually carried out by experienced farmers. These farmers use their expertise to graft branches from high-quality apple varieties directly onto mature rootstocks already planted in the ground. This process requires meticulousness and precision, demanding not only knowledge but also a high level of skill to ensure the success of the grafts. Direct grafting in the orchard provides a more hands-on approach, allowing farmers to precisely control the growth of the trees. Although this approach takes more time and effort, it offers flexibility and allows direct intervention in the growth of individual trees. After the grafting process, apple trees require one year of care before they start to bear fruit. During this time, farmers tend to the trees, ensuring they receive sufficient nutrients, water and protection from pests. Additionally, pruning and closely monitoring the tree's development are essential. The success of the apple orchard depends heavily on this stage of growth and care. As spring arrives, the apple trees begin to transform, with tender buds slowly blooming into delicate white and pink flowers that cover the branches. This is a crucial stage in the apple tree's life cycle, as the flowers pave the way for pollination and fruit formation. The sight of an apple orchard in full bloom is breathtaking, attracting bees and other pollinators. Once pollination is complete, the flowers wilt, leaving behind small fruits that start to grow, preparing for the upcoming harvest. Finally, the most anticipated time arrives harvest. Farmers can harvest apples by hand, carefully selecting each fruit at its perfect ripeness.
Each apple is picked with care, ensuring its freshness and high quality before being transported to storage or shipped. Additionally, apple harvesting has seen significant advancements thanks to the development of automated harvesters. These machines have revolutionized the apple industry by automating the harvesting process, making it faster than ever before. The automated harvesters work by using real-time imaging to identify and pick apples at their optimal ripeness. Equipped with sensors and cameras, these machines selectively harvest only the highest quality apples, ensuring minimal damage to the fruit. One of the standout features of these automated harvesters is their ability to operate 24 hours a day, even at night. This continuous operation boosts efficiency, allowing farmers to harvest entire apple orchards in much less time compared to traditional methods. After the apples are harvested, they are immediately washed and sorted to ensure that only the best apples move on to the next phase. In addition to being used to produce apple juice, apples can also be processed into other products, such as freeze-dried crispy apple snacks. This is a fantastic option for those who enjoy the convenience and natural flavor of apples while retaining most of the nutrients and sweetness of the fruit. First, the freshest and best quality apples are carefully selected from reliable sources. These apples are then subjected to a bubble wash process, an essential step to remove dust, bacteria, and any other impurities that are invisible to the naked eye. Afterward, the apples are trimmed and cored to remove any inedible parts, preparing them for the subsequent stages. The apples then go through two more rounds of washing to ensure cleanliness and hygiene, meeting the strictest food safety standards. But the next step, and the most critical in this process, is freeze drying. Over a span of five days, the apples are frozen at extremely low temperatures, followed by the removal of water using vacuum drying technology. This process not only preserves the natural sweetness of the apples, but also retains most of the nutrients while giving the snack its signature crunch. After freeze-drying, the crispy apple snacks are carefully packaged to protect them from external elements, ensuring long shelf life while maintaining their fresh taste. After the freeze-drying process is completed, the crispy dried apple products are carefully packed. Each apple slice is meticulously inspected to ensure there is no damage or contamination before packaging.
The packaging is done in specialized containers that protect the product from external environmental factors. As a result, the crispy dried apples retain their natural crunch and essential nutrients throughout the storage period, meeting the long-term consumption needs of consumers. At the end of the journey exploring the apple growing and crispy dried apple production process, we can clearly see the perfect combination of modern technology and traditional farming methods. From planting to harvesting and processing, every step is carried out precisely to deliver the highest quality products. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow more agricultural content. What do you think about this production process? Leave your thoughts and share which part you liked the most in the comments below.